we are now ready to set up Betaflight. So first thing you do is connect your USB. Make sure you have the drivers installed. So the reason I say connect it is that is going to tell you what board you are working with. If you go to update firmware right here, you can now hit auto detect right here. That is going to tell you which type of flight controller you have and it'll know what type of target you want to get. So next thing you want to do is put this squad into DFU mode, which is flashing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit connect again. Now I'm connected into it. I'm going to go to the CLI tab and I'm going to type VL enter. That is going to put the quad into bootloader mode. Again, you'll need to have your drivers set up for this. Now I'm going to click update firmware from here. Now my flight controller version is in there. That's just a step so that when you get here, if you haven't done that flight controller association, that will be blank and you'll have to get. Now we're gonna select the latest version 4.3 release candidate three. I'm gonna hit load firmware and then flash firmware. That's going to do a full chip erase. You wanna have that checked and no reboot is whatever I use. Now, in order to see those release candidates, you're gonna to wanna to have this show unstable releases unchecked, and then it's gonna take just a minute to actually flash. Now it says programming successful, so we can hit connect. The first thing it's gonna do is say there is custom defaults available. So hit apply custom defaults. You're gonna to wanna to do that. That's gonna apply all of the settings that are specific to this particular flight controller. Next thing you wanna do is calibrate the accelerometer. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this if you're not gonna use that feature, but I always do hit calibrate the accelerometer. Now that calibration is done. Next thing I'm gonna do is hit reset Z axis. That's gonna put the back to the back. Now I'm gonna hold the quad up and I'm gonna make sure when I dip it forward, it dips forward. When I dip it to the left, it dips to the left, it dips to the right, it dips to the right, back, back. Now the flight controller orientation is correct. If it was not correct, if you did rotate it for a build purpose, I use this the way that it comes laid out from the factory, you would go into the configuration tab and you would adjust the board sensor alignment right here. We don't have to do that. Next, I'm gonna assign my ports. Now, as you were building, I wired up my ghost hybrid board that I'm using right here to port UART5. So I'm gonna go serial RX, assign UART5. Now, if you also are using a different type of analog receiver, down in the peripherals for the UART you're assigned it to, so say I'd assign that to UART number two for my smart audio, I would put smart audio or tramp. If I was using DJI and I had that gone up to say UART three, I would put MSP right here. This bill's not requiring that, so we can go to the next step, configuration page. Right here, we're gonna use 8K, 8K for our gyro sampling rate. I'm gonna leave accelerometer on, but I'm gonna turn off barometer and magnometer, and I'm gonna assign a craft name. I'm gonna put John E5. I'm gonna change this arming to 180 degrees. That's gonna allow your quad to arm at any angle. I'm gonna go ahead and set the beep, RX beep, D-Shot beacon. That's gonna allow your motor chimes to beep on a switch if you assign the beeper. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the LED strip because I may use that in the future. And I'm also gonna turn on telemetry. Now I'm gonna hit save and reboot and we're done with the configuration page. Moving on. Next thing I'm going to do is go to the receiver tab. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna set a serial via UART connection and I'm gonna check IRC Ghost. If you're using Crossfire, you would put CRSF. If you're using FR Sky, or if you're using Express LRS, you would pick uh, CRSF also. We're using Ghost, so I'm gonna apply it out. Make sure your channel map is correct. My radio is set to AETR, so I'm gonna leave that. Hit save and reboot. Next thing I'm going to do is go to the modes tab and set up my modes. I like to set arm mode on channel one, and I'm gonna put arm mode all the way over there to the right. I like to leave angle mode just in case I ever need to do an angle mode test on channel two and I'm gonna have it um, only if it's all the way pushed. Default is gonna be blank, which means it's gonna default into acro mode. I'm going to go ahead and, and assign beeper to switch three all the way to the right. And then I'm also gonna assign turtle mode, AKA flip after uh, crash mode to that same range, uh, which is going to be 
all the way to the right. Now you notice we don't see turtle mode there. That's because we haven't set our ESC motor protocol. So next we're gonna go to motors. Uh, we're gonna leave it at quad X. I'm gonna set this to D shot 600. I'm gonna turn bi-directional D shot on and then I'm gonna turn motor direction to reversed because I want these to be reversed. I'm gonna hit save and reboot. Now, if I go back to that modes tab, I should see flip over after crash mode available and it's right there. And we can now set that to aux three. Next, I'm going to turn on my OSD elements. I like to have average cell voltage, craft name, timer two, throttle position. And I also like to have total flights. That's something you have to set up in the OSD. So keep that in mind. The other thing I like to do is put flight counts uh, on the post flight statistics as well. Now you're going to want to move these around wherever you want them. I usually put the battery right in the middle. Put the quad name all the way to the left. I put throttle position right here. And then I put flight time all the way in the bottom right. Then just hit save. If you were using an analog video transmitter that needed a VTX table, you could apply that right here. You could load it from a file. You could load it from the clipboard and paste that information in. That's where your VTX goes under the video transmitter. I'm using the Ghost system, so I don't need that because Ghost talks directly from the receiver to the video transmitter and you make all those changes on the module itself. Next, we're ready to do LED strip, but we're gonna come back to that. Next, we're ready to do our presets. This is my favorite part of the build process. You can do all number of presets. You have VTX tables right here if you want, so you don't have to go hunt those down. So if I check this filter, I can see all of these TBS Unify VTX tables for the different ones out there, the Rush Tiny Tank, the Diatone Mamba, the Tramp Nano, etc. I'm using Ghost, so I don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and put RC Link. For this build, I'm using Ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the IRC Ghost Racing preset right here. When I click that, I'm going to have a drop down. I'm going to use um, Solid Race. Hit Pick, Agree. Now I'm going to go ahead and save and reboot after each one of these applications. So now I have that. I'm going to go next and I'm going to get my preset for my tune. And I'm going to search for Freedom Spec. This is going to be a Freedom Spec build. I'm going to apply the Freedom Spec tune and I'm just going to apply the defaults like that. Save and reboot. Now I'm going to apply rates via the presets tab as well. I like to start off with Evan Turner's rates, the 533 rates, ever since he told me personally it was the way to go and I've been trying it ever since and it's worked very well for me. So I'm gonna go to presets tab and I'm gonna hit the DOM arrow and go to rates. Now I can see all of the different rates, presets that are here. And uh, I'm gonna go with the heads up racing rates right there, pick, and save and reboot. Now you're pretty much done. So you can see that all together we really needed to go to the setup tab, the porch tab, configuration tab, presets tab, receiver tab, modes tab, motors tab, OSD tab, and video transmitter if you're using an analog receiver. So you don't necessarily have to go to every single tab. Mm -hmm.